Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I clean the glue off of my false lashes and get them cleaned and sanitized so that I can safely use them again. So if that sounds like something that would be of assistance to you, then here we go. So I've already cleaned this pair's mate. So here is one singular lash that I'm gonna use this one for a demonstration. So we've got our lash band right here and we've got some black glue all throughout that lash band. Oh, and of one of my hairs, of course, as well. So what we're gonna do first is gently remove the glue from this lash band. And you wanna make sure that you're careful and very gentle with the lashes because depending on how they're made, this can be the part, one of the parts where you can damage them and pull them apart. So I'm going to just peel it off a little bit, one bit by bit. And I'll probably fast forward through this part right here because this is the most tedious and you know, you can get the picture after a little bit. But this right here, you see how I'm gently tugging on the lashes. You can see the glue coming off. So you're gonna do that all the way down the strip. And if you are someone who wears eyeshadow, you know, colorful eyeshadow, uh, normally you can see the eyeshadow on the lash glue and that will be able to assist you in finding out where these chunks of lash glue are on your lashes because it you know can be difficult to find where the glue actually is uh, especially if you have a lash with a black band you might be able to see the reflect from some of my lash glue And yep, we've got some more there. And I'm not tugging on the lashes right here. I'm just holding them in place and stabilizing them. And I'm pinching the lash band itself as I pull the glue away. Because you don't want to rip these individual lashes off of your falsies. And this is a pair from House of Lashes. Most of these can be reused anywhere between, you know, 10, 15, even up to like 20 times if you're really, really good at cleaning off the glue and sanitizing them. But as you can see, pulling off the lash glue is a uh, the most annoying part, but also the most important because they are not gonna last very long if you're just piling on lash glue and piling on lash glue and piling on lash glue. Okay, now for step three, we're going to wash our lashes with a bit of antibacterial soap to continue on with the cleaning process. So we're gonna use cool water, not hot water, because we don't want to melt any of the glue that might be holding the lash band together. And then I've got my soap right here. Just one little pump of soap. Not that much. You don't need to go crazy with the soap. And I'm just going to gently rub the soap through the lash. to clean any remaining eyeshadow or glitter that might be attached to it. I personally 
apply mascara before I apply my lashes so I don't need to do any like makeup removal as far as that's concerned so this is the fairly quick part of the process is just washing them gently to remove any remaining debris and we're gonna rinse them off they're nice and soapy And you want to make sure that you do a really good job of rinsing all of the soap out of your lash because you definitely do not want to get soap in your eye, especially if you are any kind of a performer, uh, you know, and you're sweating mid-performance, you get a little bit of soap in your eye and that could ruin everything. Alrighty, everyone, so now we are ready for step three of our lash cleaning and sanitiz sanitization. So my last step here is to spray the lashes with 70% isopropyl alcohol to help clean any additional bacteria that could be lurking on the lashes, especially if you've been letting these hang around for a while. So I'm going to spritz, spritz. Now you don't wanna like let them soak, you know, in a whole bunch of alcohol because that could also destroy the lash band. So I've got this low lint paper towel that I cut a piece of and I'm just gonna lay the lash here so that it'll help absorb some of the isopropyl alcohol. And the important part about using 70% isopropyl alcohol versus higher concentrations like 91% or 99% is the water content. You have to have a certain amount of water content for the alcohol to remain on the product long enough for the alcohol to kill the microbes that are on the surface you are trying to sanitize. And that's why 91% and 99%, despite being a higher percentage of alcohol, aren't more effective as disinfectants and sanitizers is because they evaporate too quickly to be able to kill things. So there's a little bit of science background for you. Now, I also like to use this lint, low linting cloth paper towel to help blot the lash and help it dry. You want to make sure that it's something that's going to be low particulate producing versus a normal paper towel because the more particulates and little fuzzies and stuff you get in your lash, the more those might get in your eye and you get them in your eye, you can cause eye damage, irritation, and a myriad of other things. And then step four is reshaping this lash because it's been through a lot. It's been on our eye, it's been pulled apart with the glue, it's been washed, it's been sprayed with rubbing alcohol. Now we're going to reshape Now this is a storage container that I purchased also from House of Lashes to store my lashes in. And once you reshape your lash, you're going to put it, you know, back into your storage container. You don't want to just leave them lying around all willy-nilly because then they're not as likely to hold their shape and they're also more likely to acquire particulates, fuzzies, bacteria, and whatnot if they're not sitting inside a protective case. So this is uh, the sister lash of the one that we just cleaned. So now I'm going to comb through the lashes with this eyelash comb. This one in particular, uh, you can get these all over the place. Ulta, Sephora, Amazon, 
and I'm just going to comb through the lashes. Let's move this bottle out of the way so you can see better. Comb through the lashes so that they're not stuck together. Uh, also so that they will remain lifted because, you know, that is one of the main reasons why a lot of us wear lashes is because we want things to look lifted. And this will also help any, if there's any remaining product stuck in your lash that you maybe missed because, hey, if you use black eyelash glue, it might blend into your black eyelashes with the black eyelash band. So now they're all nice and separated again. They're not clumped together from the water. I know it's a little bit blurry, but I can only do, oh, there we go. Now you can see it. So now the lashes are separated individually again, uh, and you just wanna make sure you give it a nice little curve, a little wiggle wiggle before we open her back up into our beautiful little case. We're gonna put her right next to her sister. And there you have it. Nice, clean, sanitized lashes ready for use. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Have a good one, y'all.